Hey, 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 Bible Activities for Kids family. I want to welcome you to episode number 14 of our Bible in a Year series. Our scripture for today comes from Numbers 23 verse 20. And as per usual, I'll give you some time so you can find the Bible verse. Okay, I think you would have found it by now. And today I am reading to you from the International Children's Bible. And Numbers 2320 says, He told me to bless them so I cannot change the blessing. Now, boys and girls, in our story, the children of Israel were traveling. And as they were traveling, they had to go through several countries. And so they would have to ask the kings for permission to go through the country. And the kings, some of them refused for them to pass through their country. And so during this period, there were lots of wars. So that means the children of Israel were fighting against other countries. For example, they fought against the Amorites and they won. And as they went along, other nations would hear about them and they would be scared. Now, one such was the king of the Moabites. His name was Balak and he was scared. And so he said, what can we do? And you know what he thought to do? He said, we are going to curse Israel. And how was he going to do that? He was going to get a man named Balaam to curse Israel. And so Balak, he sent his messengers to Balaam and they brought lots of gifts to him and said, this is what we're going to give you if you will curse these people. Now Balaam, he said, no, I'll not do it. And so the messengers went back to Balak and Balak was really angry and he said, you know what? I'm going to send more important men from my country and I'm going to send them with more money and I'm going to send lots of promises of great honor if he will come and curse Israel. And so Balaam decided to go with them this time. And so Balaam went on his donkey and he started to ride. Now, something very strange happened. The donkey went off the trail into the field. And this made Balaam very angry because it made him look really silly in front of all these important people. And so he hit the donkey and forced the donkey back onto the path. Now, as they went along, they came to a narrow path and there was like a wall on each side. And it's almost as though the donkey was kind of moving away from something and the donkey crushed Balaam's foot against the wall. And again, Balaam was angry and he hit the donkey. Now, as they went along again, they came to a path where they couldn't turn to the right or to the left. And you know what happened? The donkey fell right down under Balaam. And this made Balaam even more angry. And he hit the donkey with a stick. Now something surprising happened. Do you know what happened? The donkey started to talk. What? A donkey talk? Oh yes, the donkey started to talk. And the donkey said, what have I done that you have hit me three times? And Balaam said, because you made me look really foolish in front of all of these important people. And the donkey said, but am I not your donkey? Your donkey in which you have ridden since I have been with thee? Oh, no. Well, God opened the eyes of Balaam and he saw what the donkey had seen all along. Do you know what the donkey was seeing? The donkey had seen the angel of the Lord standing in the way with his sword drawn in his hand. Immediately, Balaam fell down flat on his face. And the angel said firstly to him why he had hit the donkey three times. And this shows that 
animals are very important. And Balaam, he was really sorry for what he had done. And the angel said to him, you're going to go with these men, but you can only speak the word that God will put in your mouth. And so Balaam went with them. And when the king saw Balaam, he was excited because he thought, yes, Balaam is going to come and he's going to curse these people. But you know what, boys and girls, Balaam could not curse these people. Every word that came out of his mouth was a blessing on Israel. You know, Balak wanted him to curse them, but he couldn't because God had already blessed these people. The children of Israel were blessed. And you know what, boys and girls, you are blessed too. And so when God blesses you, no matter what other people try to do, they'll try to say bad things. They'll try to curse you. But when God has blessed you, there's no one who can curse you. And that's the message that I want to share with you today. And until next time, boys and girls, God bless you all abundantly. See you next time.